Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lottie. For those of you who don't know me, I have a crochet channel, do crochet vlogs, lifestyle vlogs, and a bunch of other stuff. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, hit the button that looks like this, and let's get into this video. We are doing a week of crochet. I haven't done this video in a little while. Um, the last video I think I made is my office day video, which is should be up by the time you see this video. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. You get to see how I made my guest room into my own office. I'm extremely and incredibly grateful for every single one of you who continues to come back to my videos. And shout out to all my Patreoners. I love you guys. Shout out to all of the people who come back. And so let's get into this video. Also, if you haven't seen, there's a little difference in the camera quality, I hope. But your girl got a new camera for her birthday. Oh, by the time this video comes out, I'm 25. I turned 25. <laughs> I'm 25, my hair is red, and I think I'm going through my midlife crisis. Or my quarter life crisis. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, um, if you watch my lives and you watch everything else, you have seen that this last week that I've been working on nothing but leggy froggies. I think I have 11 done. Last night, Oscar and I had a movie night. <clears throat> it was Saturday night. And I usually don't crochet on Saturdays, but I just felt like doing more because I needed some more multicolored green leggy froggies. And I was able to get done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. So at some point today, I need to put all the eyes, um, faces, and blush on these guys and stuff them up so they can be ready. Um, I used the Big Twist plush for this leggy froggy and then I used um, Burnett Blanket tie-dye so you guys can see the difference. I actually prefer the colors on the Big Twist but you guys can kind of see the, the size difference in yarn. Um, same um, pattern, different sizes. I'm still going to charge the same thing for either one. I love the colors on these ones more but the only thing I have a problem with with Big Twist, if you didn't know, they have less yards than burnett and they charge the same thing so i'm not a big fan of that i know it's probably thicker yarn but i'm not a big fan of that business wise it's a no-go so then here's burnett blanket which i do like the color variations that come from it i don't love when they're like majority white rather than green like i love this one versus like you can see this one has like a huge white it gives them a one-on-one -on -one type of vibe i get it but yeah that's my two cents on that I have to edit, I have to do the dreaded taxes of a businesswoman. I have to figure that out. Um, so yeah, that's my little check-in again. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. So it's been a day since I thought I was gonna be able to record. <laughs> I had a lot of busy office work that I had to end up doing today. Boring stuff taxes, all that stuff, getting all my expenses into a spreadsheet, making sure all the numbers are right. It was a whole thing. But it's currently, I think, like almost 7 o'clock. I've been editing. I've been doing busy work. Needless to say, my brain is fried. But we got an order. Someone ordered my mom's um, <laughs> Eva uh, Mermaid, La Sirenita, so she looks so cute. And they also ordered a turtle with a light base and dark, light shell and dark base. And I'm going to show you guys my little packaging because I haven't packaged in a minute. I have my thank you cards. I write their name. I try to write their name and then I do my little embossing that you guys saw in my office video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. You guys get to see how I made my office look the way it did. And then what else? Um, I have my freebie sticker with the logo. And then I also have been gonna, I'm going to be having like different, um, different little, how do you say it? What are these called? Stickers for Posey the Dragon. So that, um, I can give them for free and they'll have little different seasons to them. So I'm doing that. She happened to get a pink one. I have a galaxy one and I have a purple one. I'm kind of giving them at like random. And now I need to pack this up. Yesterday I made all of these leggy froggies 
I have, I believe, what did I say? I think I told you guys earlier, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine that I need to put eyes on and embroider their faces and stuff. So let's get into it. I've had a long day. Usually I don't do this on Sundays, but for some reason I'm feeling like I want to get this done today. So I can tackle some of my bigger items tomorrow, like Carl, my pattern. If you guys are new here, I have a cow pattern. I am coming out on my birthday. Um, by the time this comes out, I think this video will be out. Or my birthday will have passed, so that pattern of that elephant should be out. Um, it's Ellie the Elephant, super beginner friendly. Um, you do have to sew, but from all the pattern testers that I've... Um, had they say it's relatively quick works up re relatively quick and the sewing isn't like that crazy so i i prefer sewing i know but so enjoy this i need to put the eyes on these guys and we got to do the assembly line let's get it Okay, 45 minutes later, I have finished one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I have nine multicolored, variated leggy froggies, and that I have one more already done. So that means I have 10 of them in like a variated green, and then I have 10 regular green. So that means I have 20 leggy froggies, which for a market should be good. Um, and tomorrow I will move on to something else. So I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, now it's Monday. And I um, have a bunch of leggy froggies ready to go. So I got this yarn color from Joann's. And it's like this variated, like really cute, neutral tones. And I think Ellie would look so cute. If you don't know what Ellie is, Ellie is the elephant pattern I'm coming out with on my birthday. She should be out by now by the time you're watching this. You can go check her out. We're going to make one right now. And let's get into it. All right, so the mail came. I'm going to open this up really fast. I just got myself this, um, I believe it's a scale. Yeah, it's a scale. <laughs> I believe it's a scale. No, it's, I got a scale, a shipping scale. 
um, just because before I was using like one of those like, kitchen scales, which did the job. I just wanted one that could just be stationary and just stay in my office. So this has a 10 year warranty. Hmm. This can hold up to 65 pounds. I, when I saw that, I was like, I didn't get it because of that, cause obviously I'm shipping plushies. So I think the most I've ever shipped was probably like under 10 pounds. Um, you guys already know people who ship plushies were looking at like anywhere between like eight ounces to probably, oh, it comes with batteries. What is it? Eight ounces to like three pounds. Pull, it says pull it out. It's the same thing as one. Pull it out. Okay. Don't mind my little shirt today, guys. I'm just living my life. Look at her. She's cute. She's nice. There it is. So now I have something to ship stuff. Okay, so a little update. I'm in my little Snuggie. So I made my body. I made the head of Ellie. I'm working on her trunk and I've made both ears. And today's Monday. So if you don't know, Mondays are my Zoom days with my Patreon girls and I love it. But look what came in the mail. <laughs> this is from Foodie Crafty. If you didn't watch my um office makeover video i talked about how this year long story short i want to try to pick different um small businesses to purchase from rather than have just stuff sent to me obviously i appreciate everyone who wants to send me gifts but i want to give back and i want to purchase from small businesses that you know it's just about the community aspect of it so um for instance i have amore who's up here from the joyful weirdo I have a top that I got from Danielle. I got um, that collared polo you guys saw in the office video from Dana Knots, um, Blondie Knots. And then right here I have this one that's from Melissa and it's from Foodie Crafty. So I will put her little name right here because I'm learning how to edit all cool and stuff. So I wanted to purchase this from her because one of my patroners, Joy, had the awesome idea of saying, because I had flowers in my background, and yes, I love, you know, flowers, but imagine crochet flowers. It just fits the vibe of the office. Are you kidding me? So my office is continuously going to be changing, moving around. I'm very, I, I always, like, change the way I like things. So, oh, baby. I know you're probably like, why are you standing up doing this? I've been sitting all day, so. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so excited. She was so sweet. We have a card. Oh no way. I think she said. <laughs> she sent me a birthday card. Stop, you're so cute. Happy early or late birthday, depending on when you receive it. Hope you have an amazing day, Melissa. Melissa, you are so sweet. Aw, thank you. Let me lift this up. There we go. She was so nice, guys. Like, I wanted to purchase from her, and then she still sent me, like, a ramo, like, as a gift. Like, oh, you're just so sweet. Oh, my God. Oh, look at you. Look at this little dude. Look at this dude, he's sick. <laughs> oh, he's gonna go on my shelf of little things. He's so sick. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> 
I love him. Where should he go? I feel like he has to like be up here, like between the purples. Oh, he's sick. <laughs> Hello, sir. I feel like he took like these. These flowers. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Her and her mom do it, and it just makes me really happy. Like it kind of it hits like a little part of me because like. You know, me and my mom do my stuff together. So the fact that she does it with her mom. Oh my God, que bonito. Ah! Flowers that don't die. Oh my gosh, here's my here's my toxic trait. I don't want to take them out of these papeles. I don't want to take them out of the paper. How freaking cute. Imagine these back here in a vase. Oh my God, they're so cute. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I love them. Thank you, Melissa. Let me show you guys what I ended up working on. My Zoom today with the girlies, with my girly pops, was like three hours long. It was such, it was so fun. Um, anyways, I made some elephants. I have this one. Cute. Look at him. And then I have this one with this like brunette blanket variated yarn. Oh, I love how this one came out. I'm obsessed with the color. And then look at, I did this one. I've been dying to use like this brunette blanket frosted. Come on, this is so cute. And I added lashes to her and lashes to this one. Uh, I love them. So I have three elephants for my next market. And by the time this video comes out, I know that Ellie's going to be out. So you guys can check the link in the description if you want to purchase her. On my shop, she'll be cheaper. And on Etsy, they take away fees, so I have to, like, bump up the price. I think I, I'm just going to do, like, the rest of mine. $5 on Etsy, $4.50 on my shop. Up to you if you want to check it out. Or you can pay $6 a month or $12 a month, and you get all my patterns included in my Patreon. And you can do Zooms. So, up to you. So it's already going to be 10 o'clock. It's honestly not that late. It's not even crackhead hours, but I'm going to give myself now the day. I'll see you tomorrow. I wanted to show you guys in better light. It's the next day. These cuties. Look at this color. With the like, I love it with the daylight. I love it. And I need to make some reels with these girlies. And then I don't know if I'm going to make more Ellie's. I think I want to make an Ellie in this color. It's like the brunette sparkle. So cute. So, and then I need to, I want to try to get like the fun stuff this week. So I want to do like the bigger items, cows. I don't, I don't know what that was. I don't have any Carl's, which if you don't know what a Carl is, that is my cow pattern. I sold out of them at the last market, so I do want to make a couple more. And I have these Patricks that I made <laughs> that did really well last time. I used acrylic yarn this time, and I'm a fan of acrylic yarn. I know, I know. It's all plush, but I am a fan of acrylic yarn when it comes to, like, characters and stuff. But I don't do characters as much as I used to. So, let's get into it. So, let me show you guys. Um, I finished this bad boy. Look at this color. It is so cute. I love it. So I went ahead and did that one. And I only have a little bit of that color left. At least like this and then like another little ball. So I'm going to make some octos just because to give myself like... I mean, I don't know how you guys feel about it. But me as like a crocheter who does like plushies that doesn't do wearables because she... I need like instant gratification, if that makes sense. So what I like about making plushies is I get to see them like immediately. And then when I make plushies like the elephants, which don't take long or the cows don't take long, but they have more pieces and you have to sew them versus when I make an octo and I make them immediately and I have a hundred of them. So I want to make a couple octos in this color because I think they're going to be so cute. Little update. I've made one, two three in this like sparkly teal color that I made the Ellie in. You can put it on the camera. But yeah, I've made three of them. Um, and I'm just going to keep making some until it's time for me to leave. I have to leave the house in like an hour, so we'll see. 
This is what my life is like with a baby who just, yep. We always have to hold hands, huh, baby? Yep. But I'm just going to stop. <laughs> You're so sweet. Boop. Let's boop your nose. So I'm back home. And before I left, I was, I think you guys saw that I had three Octos. I ended up making five baby Octos because I, I only have red, orange, and yellow left from the last market. Little tip. I know I've said this before, but the colors that usually do well for me that sell well are purples, blues, greens, and red, yellow, and orange tends to stay, but I still will always make all of them. Another color that does really, really well in anything is the color black. I don't know how many times I always stress this. Every time I have black octos, I end up with none. Um, I have none. And purple. Purple and black seem to be the best one. But I got some Happy Meal. Um... I already mentioned that I'm going to try my best to be purchasing from small businesses. So this one is from Stitches, Stitches um, by Patti. And I got some stitch markers from her that I ordered. Oh my gosh. For her, from her and my mom. For, for me and my mom, I mean. Sorry, I'm so tired, guys. My class kicked my ass. I've had a very stressful, like, I don't know. Today I have felt very off. I've been anxious and my anxiety usually doesn't get the best of me anymore. But today seemed like a day that like I just couldn't seem to shake anything. So, Aww, so I ordered. So if you saw my last video, you saw that I she actually sent me some. She was so sweet. And I wanted to support her, so then I ordered from her as well some. Oh, and I only ordered those two. Um, I only ordered the two, what are they called? Balloon animals. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, and she put a purple duck in there for me. Patti, thank you so much. You did not have to do that. This one's mine. The color is even prettier in person. I'll leave her um, link to her Instagram below. Mira que bonito. Look how pretty. This one's mine. I chose like this cute little pink. I'm in like my pink, like girly era, you know what I mean? Whatever era <laughs> that is. Um, and this one's my mom's. Oh, my mom is a. If you guys don't know, Mama Vibes is a red girly. She loves green, but she's a red girly. She is a red girly, and this is so cute. My goodness, so cute. Okay, I'm going to put this right here because I'm going to be using this one a lot. And I think I'm going to call it a night, guys, which I think is pretty good. We got a, we have all those Ellie's. We have four Ellie's. We have five Octos done. I have 18 or 20 leggy froggies. My mom has made so many bees sitting beads she has made i don't know how much stuff so we're pretty set for the next one we're just gonna keep going <gasps> so happy see you guys tomorrow okay guys so it's wednesday i'm packing orders on live so just sit back i hope you guys like this um time lapse right now i'm just gonna pack up a chicken and then we're gonna start market prepping <laughs> crocheting like a mad woman um i have to let you guys know what i've been doing 
So right now, Octo Count, you guys saw that I started, was it yesterday or was it the day before yesterday? I don't know, but now I'm up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 times 4 is 20. So I'm at 23 Octos. Um, I was only able to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 in this like sparkly like teal. And I ran out and finished it with like this like um, half and half of baby blue. And then I just finished um, 4, 8, 12 baby blue um, Octos. And I'm just going to yarn wind the rest of this because I think 12 is a good number for that. This blue always seems to do really well for me and I never can keep that in socks. So in my brain, I'm kind of like, oh, should I make more? But then I'm like, I really need to cover all my bases. One second. Oh, there it is. Well, I get this all prepared. But yeah, so what I've noticed, and I think I say this like every video, um, colors that do really well for me are blue, purple, pinks anything that has sparkles. I don't, I used to not love working with, um, I, I'm trying not to say um anymore, but it's so hard for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Colors that do well for me are like, I didn't used to like working with sparkly yarn. I didn't like the look of it, but then I realized it's not about me. It's about what people like. And People love sparkly yarn, like baby Burnett blanket sparkle. And now I've kind of transitioned into this thing where it's like, I like working with it. I like the, the, the way it makes things look. So yeah, just my little tidbat there. Tomorrow's my birthday, I'm really excited. Um, I have a photo shoot, so you guys are gonna come along with me and we're gonna film that together. We're gonna get ready tomorrow together. I hope you guys like that if you're not into stuff that's not crochet i'm sorry but i also do my life on this channel and that's kind of what i wanted to do with my channel like i really wanted it to be about crochet but i also wanted it to be like you know me and like people like me for me and not just are here for the crochet you know what i mean i know a lot of people um come on my channel because i talk about prices and how much i make um yeah so i'm gonna keep crocheting this is my little let me show you guys this is what I have right now. Oh my god. This is what I have. Right here. And I need to get a bin from down from my truck so I can put these and start like making... Visually see me filling up a bin. Change of plans. So, I was going to make more octos, and, but my creative juices were like, girl... We're gonna sit here and do another 30 today? No, 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 This is the best thing about crocheting, is when you have a creative itch, you can just move on. And I have three weeks till my next market, so I can take some time off Octos and all of the boring stuff. We need something new, we need something fun. So, um, one of my good friends, uh, Melissa, she's the one, her mom made those flowers that you see back there that I got from them. They, they gifted me some, I think you guys already saw me open that. I, I think that's this video. I always get everything confused. She came out with a monkey pattern today. The day before my birthday, look how cute. Isn't it so cute? And I just want to make little monkeys. So I'm going to make a monkey today. We're going to see. It's a low sew pattern. It's available on Etsy. I will leave the link to the pattern below. So you can, and I love the look of her. So let's do it. I finished Mono the monkey. And he's so cute. I got the pattern. I purchased the pattern. I don't know what time it was. But I'm already done with it. And it's only 4 p.m. So that was super quick make. And he's super cute. And it's low sew for some of y'all who don't like sewing. The only thing you have to sew are the two lower legs and the ears. That's it. It's my birthday. <laughs> I woke up and everyone's calling me and everyone, Patreon, Instagram, thank you guys so much for all the birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. Look at what Oscar did to my office. Let me show you guys. It looks like kind of messy in here, but... Well... So... He did like this like cute little fringe that I get to walk through like this, like a princess. And he did this for my office, which I think is so cute. So he put balloons and he got me a nice smelling candle because if there's something about Lottie, she loves a good candle. Chai already 
murdered one of my balloons. I'm also a blanket whore. I'm just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> I love blankets. So he got me a blanket. And look at these pretty flowers. <gasps> Do you see my flowers? And then he got me a little birthday sign, which I think is super cute. Tight, tight. Look at her. You're going to murder another one. And for those of you who don't know, I share a birthday with someone. No, not Justin Bieber. But yes, Justin Bieber. But Minnie. Minnie's birthday is also today, so. Send happy birthday to Min. <laughs> and I'm actually about to open a gift. Two gifts. You hear that? Murder's about to happen. She's about to kill another one of my balloons. Uh, Jaden, Birdie's Craft, sent me two gifts for my birthday, which I think is so sweet. So thank you so much, Jaden. And I'm about to open that. And I'm going to record, not on here, but my phone so I can send it to her. Guys, the things that I just got for my birthday. So... Birdie's Crafts, like I said, sent me um, a like a Amazon or like and a present. So first of all, first off, she sent me her stitch marker. She just started making, and I am obsessed. They are so cute. She sent me a cow, a strawberry, a duck, a little bunny, an octo, and a pig. And they're so cute. And they're like these longer stitch markers. I feel like this is like becoming like super in right now with all the stitch markers being like super long with the lobster clasps makes me so happy because I love a lobster clasp clasp and then she sent me all these cute stickers but get this she sent me the sweetest card thank you so much I keep all of these and oh my god let me show you guys also what I got she sent me this cute thing that says crochet shit <laughs> what a fucking vibe also, can I say that she started my birthday card saying happy fucking birthday, which I loved. And then she sent me a to-do, like, little binder, which made me so... Or, like, a little notebook that's, like, my daily planner, which I fucking love because I needed something like this. I was doing it just in a random book because I ran out of my other one. And then she sent me such a pretty notebook. Are you kidding me? I'm not done, guys. Look at this. She sent me beautiful pens i love colored pens oh my gosh and like oh, i'm just so happy i get to put these in my crochet shape. um and then this thing so i literally was looking at this at the um store the other day and i was like should i get it and oscar said he was actually gonna get it for me and he's happy he didn't get it for me because look at this Jaden got me a freaking, like, record of Lauren Hill. If you don't know, I am obsessed. I love Lauren Hill. I listen to her every day, all the time. Her music just makes me so fucking happy. Like, it's just a, it's just a vibe. It's a vibe. Not me, not me quoting Christian Rock. <laughs> so she sent me this. I fucking love Lauren Hill. And the fact that... Jaden got, I was like, I don't know, my, you guys are the fucking best. Jaden, thank you so much. I love you so much. Thank you. I, I can't, like, my birthday started off so good because of you. Thank you. So I came, bless you. I came home to these. Oscar and I went and ate lunch and he did his best at freaking surprising me. He got me good. He got me good with this human. This is my cousin Lech. I can't, can't believe it. She look at all these, look, she got me flowers. Don't mind the mess. And then she got me, <laughs> when we were younger, all we used to eat were hot Cheeto fries. And we used to drink an Arizona tea. It wasn't this one, but I have a hard time finding that one too. Yeah, and then I have this one. She got me all this stuff. And this stuff. More blankets. Look, more blankets. <laughs> more blankets to my collection. And then a nice little plant. No. <laughs> Also, I got this in the mail today. H.C.B. Rant sent me a hat press, so we're going to try that maybe next week. Oh, we need to show how cute you look. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Oh, here you go. Looks so freaking cute. This is how I'm going to the photo shoot we put on. I went with cowboy boots. Looks so good, though. She turned 25, and so she wanted to try something hey. different. Hey. And then... If I have, and then I put my hair curly, washed so it, and then we have like two more outfits, so I'm going to take the camera with me, so that we can go. And what time is it? Let's go. It's four. Oh, we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I look good. Yeah. You look good. <laughs> 
Guys, so my cousin Leslie, who's back here, I talk about her all the time, <laughs> all my lives, and all that stuff. So she actually texted what? Well, well, when did you text Oscar? It was yesterday. like at twelve. It was like midday. So it was literally yesterday. She texted. I was like, "Can I come? Like, it's a surprise, laddie." And I was like, "So they literally like just made this up like yesterday for her to come." And your girl literally drove almost five hours just to come for my birthday. Yes. If I tell you I don't have like the coolest bucket support system mm -hmm. ever, I don't know. I'm sorry. Y'all should be jealous because <laughs> I have family who will come. I just love them so much. Thank you so much for coming, Lance. Yes, of course. Leslie's the cousin, you know, the cousin you have growing up where you like go and sleep over at their house or you like ask your parents like, hey, you go ask my parents if I can sleep over <laughs> because they won't, they, they won't say no to you. That was us. Me ask me, mom, if I can come today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like we, that was our relationship always. Like she, since little, like we grew up together, little rider dies in our sketchers and our little <laughs> bobs. And just my other half, so I'm super happy you're here now. I don't know what's gonna happen. This lighting, hold on. Uh, I, don't know I was like, I don't know what's gonna happen tonight because Ooh. if there's one thing that I do when I'm with Leslie is I just don't know how to act. We so have good time. That's gonna <laughs> So we'll see where tonight takes us, but we're on our way right now to the photo shoot with Kalani. Um, and then I have my cake Oscar got, which is so cute. And then we have our like um what is it called? Outfit changes and like the tulips Oscar got me for my birthday. So let's go. <laughs> Tell me you know <laughs> what's up. Look how she's holding my fucking <laughs> tripod. <laughs> extra little fun I think it's gonna make the video extra long but I think that's gonna be a good a good <laughs> either it's gonna be its own or it's gonna be the end of the week video but we'll see Leslie came she leaves tomorrow and we have we wanted to we saw a video today what is it called the, like someone's blindfolded someone has their mouth covered in tape and then someone can't hear so they're listening to death music really and death mute or right and blind. Blind. And blind. <laughs> and blind so we're gonna do that and we're gonna make chocolate chip cookies I'm gonna be the one blindfolded. I'm gonna be the deaf person. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be muted. <laughs> I'm gonna be muted. Muted. Mute. <laughs> mute, mute. Yeah, and so I need to get tape for your mouth and- Oh yeah, that's true. I guess we're just gonna get into it. All right, now we're gonna try again. <laughs> we're starting, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're gonna whisk the flour, baking soda, Quartz, starch, and salt. So, for flour, we need. You have to get two or, or one fourth cups. Huh? You need two flour. Two or one cups. I need a bowl. <laughs> this is where I'm gonna put it. Mhm. Mm okay. First flour. What's going on? Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? What's he doing? Struggling. Can you hurry up? Wait. <laughs> Did you hit me? Did you hit me? Did you hit me? Mm -hmm. Okay, where'd I put it? 
Okay. Another one. Mm -hmm. That? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> there? Yes? Did I do it? That <laughs> looks interesting. Where's the empty right there? You see that?
mush. Mm-hmm. Hands? Uh huh. To mush. Mm-hmm. You wanna knead it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> Did he wash his hands? Yes. He did? <laughs> You're nasty if you didn't. Gives a flavor. <laughs> the fuck did you say? Because <laughs> she was laughing after you said something. Gives what the fuck did fl- you say? Gives a flavor. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean, Italiano? Okay, they need more fucking milk or something. <laughs> Now we're cooking one. Do you like a lot of chocolate chips or a little bit? You like a lot. Leslie likes a lot, Oscar. Hmm? I like a little bit, but it's okay. We can do medium. Hmm? <laughs> we'll compromise. Because it wants one and fourth cups. That's a lot. See, look, that looks better. I'm gonna pause this. <coughs> Good? Yeah, you can take that off. I can't. Mm, I was sweating. You can see! Well, guys, that was what you guys saw. I don't think you guys wanna see us like cook them. I think that was the fun part. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure it's all fucked up. We're full of fun. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe. It's the button that looks like this. And yeah, bye! Bye! bye.